Next, we have Ivan with Deep Fish simulating malicious AI. We'd like to thank our sponsors, Endgame, Silence, Sofo, and Tinder. And without further ado, here's Ivan. OK. So last talk before lunch. Let's see how it is. So um, my name is Ivan Torroledo, or Ivan Torroledo in my language. Uh, I'm going to give a talk that we call Deep Fish Simulating Malicious AI. So first of all, let's see who I am. So I am the lead data scientist for the research team Axix Terra. Uh, I studied physics and economics. Uh, additional to the data science research that I do, I also like to use Fortran and do a lot of stuff uh, doing parallel computing. And finally, I am from Colombia. However, I hate coffee. <laughs> yeah, it's a sad story for me in Colombia, but. So here is my Twitter account if you want to follow me. So let's start. I like to start my talk using this figure because basically it provides the motivation that we had at the beginning of this project. Here we have the Google Trends results for the keywords cybersecurity and AI. As you can see, in the last three or four years, there has been a, a dramatic increase in the interest of the people around the relationship between these both topics. So if I had to summarize the, our current scenario, it should be this. Yeah, everyone is talking about AI in cybersecurity. So knowing this, at the beginning of the year, we started to look for the newest cybersecurity marketing trend. And we found out several news uh, wondering about how AI can be applied to cyber attacks. So if this were a Terminator movie, people would be wondering about if Skynet is already among us trying to destroy the world. So. Despite all this news and marketing noise, we don't have a real evidence if this is happening. So the real question that we need, uh, we first needed to, to ask ourselves was, is AI a real threat? Okay, so as a research team, we decided to start testing this question and this hypothesis. So by analyzing deeply the question and the idea, we realized that the first question that we need to answer is how attackers may enhance their campaigns and attacks using AI. Okay, so to start testing this question, we needed first to define a use case. So we choose a phishing campaigns and phishing attacks as the first one. The main reason behind this decision was that Almost 91% of cyber attacks and cyber crime starts with a phishing email. So phishing is still is one of the most important tools that each attacker has. And if an attacker starts using AI, probably they would uh, uh, start use a, start improving their phishing attacks. So once we define the question, once we define the the use case we can start creating an experiment. So we created an experiment that has three steps and we call that simulating malicious AI. So at the first step, we wanted to evaluate, to identify some individual threat actors. So why we need to do that? So basically, the main goal of this project is to understand the effective patterns of each attacker and try to improve them using AI. So as we cannot know attackers directly, we must learn about them using their, uh, their attacks. So to achieve this, we collected a database with almost 1.1 million phishing attacks coming from fish tank and we decided to analyze this data. So how do you analyze one million phishing attacks? Incredible attacks. So we started by looking uh, for the most common domains in our database. 
it led us to this first domain uh, called nailerantiques.com. Basically, this domain belongs to an uh, online antique, a store that obviously was compromised previously. And in the whole database, we found 406 URLs using the, the same domain. Now, to check if this set of URLs belong to the same attacker, we want to verify if they were targeting the same institution. So we did a visual check uh, from the, to the uh, screenshots available in Fish Tank, and we realized that they were targeting the same institution. In this case, a major Brazilian bank called Bradesco. So finally, we can say that this set of URLs belong to the same attacker because they were targeting the same institution. Now, what happens if the attacker is not only using one domain? It's a fair question. So, we started to look for this strategy in the whole database. So, by analyzing the data, we realized that there were some keywords commonly used in the data. So, we collected these keywords to define the attacker strategy. Now, by checking this strategy in the whole database, voila, we found 105 additional domains using the same strategy. So, finally, the last thing that we need to do is to verify if they were targeting the same institution. So, again, we did the visual check and voila. We verified that they were targeting also the same institution. So, finally, at the end, we can say that this uh, whole set of, new, of URLs belong to the same attacker because they were targeting the same institution and they were using the same strategy. Okay, so cool, we just uncovered one threat actor in our 1.1 million phishing attacks. So we keep doing this process for a while, so we found additional domains using additional strategies and targeting another institutions. For example, in this case we found a that they were targeting a Canadian bank called TD Canada Trust. So at the end we just uncovered several threat actors using this strategy. So that was the first step. Now once we uncover, uh, we, we uncover or we identify some threat actors, we wanted to evaluate how effectively they can bypass our detection system indeed our own AI detection system. So how we do? First of all, of course, we needed to define our detection system. So for this case, we used an AI a classification model that we created previously. Basically, it's a model that is using LSTM a, a neural networks. And basically, by analyzing each URL, the model is able to learn the effective patterns or the or to gather the strategies and the patterns that each URL has and at the end produce a probability if the URL is being used for phishing attacks. That's the whole intuition behind this model. Okay, so once we define the detection system or our own AI detection system, we started to measure how effectively they can bypass our detection system. So to measure this, we define something that we call the effectiveness rate. The effectiveness rate is defined as the percentage of URLs that are able to bypass our detection systems. So for the whole database, we found that, we found that the effectiveness rate was 0.24%. Okay, now for the threat actor number one that we just uncovered, we found that the effectiveness rate was a little bit higher, 0.69%. Finally, for the threat actor number two, we found that the effectiveness rate was 4.91%. Now, at the end we can say that, that despite these two threat actors that we just uncovered were a little bit more effective to bypass our detection systems than the average attacker in the whole database, 
we are doing a really good job with, uh, with our detection systems in the whole database. So we can say, yes, we are winning the battle. Cool, so that was the second step. Now let's see the final and the most interesting step, the third one. So in this step, we wanted to improve their phishing attacks of fish, of fish attacker using AI. So let's see how we achieve this. So to answer to achieve this, we created an algorithm called DeepFish. So let's see how it works. First of all, the model uh, divides the data of each attacker into a set of non-effective URLs that the algorithm, our detection system, was able to catch and, and a set of effective URLs that bypass our detection systems. Okay, so taking this last set, we transform the data, we encode the data into a mathematical representation such that we can input this data into an AI model. So what kind of model did we use? Again, we use an LSTM model or long term, term memory that basically the whole intuition behind this model is we give one URL to the model, the model a uh, catch or gather all the patterns in the URL and then start producing new characters that at the end we collect these characters to, 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 to build new URLs following the same patterns that the previous URL had. Okay, so that's the model that, the AI model that we use. So once we have this model and once, once we have this train model, we are now able to start producing new URLs in the following way. So first of all, we give to the model one seed. For example, a, what, it can be a, a segment of an URL that attacker has and we start producing new characters to create a, new paths then we filter that paths to gain some allow paths and by joining this data with a set of compromised domain that the attacker should have, at the end we are able to create something that we call a synthetic URL with this form. So basically, to summarize, uh, we created an algorithm that, that was able to analyze uh, the URL that we gave to the model and produce new URLs following the same patterns. That's the whole idea behind this model. Okay, so that was the experiment. So let's see the results. So as you remember, in the traditional way, the attacker number one has an effect in a rate, effect in a rate of 0.69% and the second one, uh, 4.91%. So what happens when the attackers start using AI? Boom. We can see that for the threat actor number one, we increase the effectiveness rate from 0.69% to 20%. And for the threat actor number two, we increase the effectiveness rate to 36%. So with these results, we can say that if an attacker starts using AI in the way that DeepFish does, they will be able to bypass our detection systems more effectively than before. Yeah, that's the experiment and that's the conclusion. So if DeepFish uh, could say something, they will say something like this. You are doomed. Yeah. Okay. So, however, don't panic. We keep improving. So, the follow the next steps in this experiment is to include another AI tools, for example, data virtual learning or generative models that 
basically at the end, with this, including these models, we are going to be able to anticipate how attackers may use, this, may use AI to enhance their attacks. And by anticipating this, we can say that we are going to be winning the battle against AI and Skynet again for the next year. So thanks so much.